Good afternoon, TSIS. Today we have the our cutest teacher, Miss Linda, here for the interview. Hello, Miss Linda. That's very nice of you calling me the cutie. <laughs> okay, so Miss Linda, I'm here to interview you some questions as a teacher in TSIS. So let's begin with how long have you been here in TSIS? Um, it's going to be my fifth year next year. Fifty? Fifth. Oh, fifth. 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 So, Miss Linda, what? In what ways do you think does, has TCS improved throughout the years you have been here? Um, Software-wise, our one-to-one -one program, I think it's working pretty good, and I'm learning a lot of technology assisting in teaching. Um, so you think the technology is improving the teaching? Definitely. Style? And then school hardware-wise, I have a new lab. Oh, That's the yeah. best improvement yeah. ever. <laughs> I love biology labs. And <clears throat> Miss Lina, sometimes st students manage to sleep in class. Does that happen in your class? Um, not this year. After you left my class, it never happened again. <laughs> Why is it not not this year? Did you change the rule or? No, I think kids are just more aware. And then this year, students find biology more fun. Uh, okay, I see. So, uh, Miss Lina, do you think your teaching style differentiates from other teachers? I was once called a teacher from the 50s. Teacher um, from the 50s. But I do believe my differentiation is focusing on lecturing so that students are actually receiving the knowledge first before they could regurgitate it out. What so, does the teachings of the 50s mean? I don't know. It was from Dr. Mike a long time ago. Uh -huh. I guess he was trying to say that there's not a lot of games. It was just instructional uh -huh. base. So he was referring to that. But I do feel that that's what made my class special, differentiate from others. But have you ever think about giving other kinds of activities? We do. Yeah. It's not just unfortunate. It was just not the, the right day that Dr. Mike was in that room. Uh -huh. But. My primary teaching strategy was instructional, and then of course you integrate it with other kind of games, other kind of activities, other ways to learn. So I think you're a great teacher. Here. Oh, thank you. You're a great uh, interviewer too. <laughs> um, so, Miss Linda, this year the Thursday morning assemblies have been much more organized by Ms. Ron and Mr. West. Do you like about it, and what's the part that you like the most about the assemblies? Um, I especially enjoyed the WTV. It was quite fun watching all the video clips. Uh, it's like entertaining. Um, How about the guitar class? That was that was pretty awesome too, because it reminds me a lot of you up there. It doesn't always have to be academic only. Oh, you are trying to learn guitar too, right? Yes, yes, I did. Um, haven't uh, been practicing for some time. So can you play and sing a song now? No. Okay, <laughs> maybe. That's personal talents from the birth. So, um, Miss Lina, uh, if you can only choose one subject to teach for your whole entire ca uh, teaching career, what would that class be? Biology. Biology. Never second thought. It, is how, as it has always been biology, ever since I was in 10th grade. But have you thought about teaching other science classes like physics or chemistry? No. I think. I would rather quit than to teach uh -huh. chemistry or physics because I fail those classes. So. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, Miss Lina, what's your most, has this year been a great year for you? Um, yes, of course, because I have a baby, so it changes a lot in perspective wise. Um, school wise, um, what's I, like the most memorable moment in this year for you? This year, wow, um, it all kind of faded together. I was too busy being pregnant and thinking about the baby. The best moment would be, I guess, the day that my senior student walking and tell me that they got acceptance from college. Uh, every time, every one of them walking here, and then I feel proud and happy. Yeah. Uh, so congratulations again for having a baby. Thank I you. think she'll be cute like you too. She's already cute. Uh, she is. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, and last question, Miss Linda. How do you feel about being the cutest teacher in high school? I am just too flattered. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess that's enough for this.